All right, uh, Vicky, thanks so much. This is one of our favorite segments in our Zip Trips Hometown Hero. We're re- Family Table Collaborative here in town, and you guys got started uh, as a rapid response to COVID. So tell us initially what your plan was, what your goal was, and what the motivation was behind it. Well, I think no one knew what was going to happen with COVID, but because I had been running a soup kitchen at the time, I knew food was going to be an issue, no matter what. So we met with the American Culinary Federation, and we, uh, my business partner and I, Harry Henry, uh, got together and we formed the Family Table Collaborative just as a rapid response. We, it was a community effort. It, we had the guaranteed fresh trucks loaned to us. Um, the Cape Potter loaned their kitchen and their chef team. I was partnered with the Greater Boston Food Bank. And we, the week after COVID started, started distributing prepared meals, nutritious, delicious meals, into the community. And last night, we tipped 99,000 wow. meals. <laughs> that's quite a milestone. Congratulations. Let's hear it for that, because that's, that's pretty remarkable. Um, so did you surprised at the, at the, because when COVID comes, you know, okay, there are people in need and that changes everything, but but how much that has really continued now, not that we're really post-COVID, but things really have changed, it's sort of where COVID stands right now, but the need hasn't. No, as a matter of fact, the need is growing. Um, I think what we found is we knew that we knew that COVID was going to create an economic crisis with food, but what we uncovered in doing what we were doing is that there are access and distribution issues. There's a a lot more that goes into food access, but what we chose to focus on was nutritional security. And, you know, food security is dictated almost solely by economics. Nutritional security is dictated significantly by convenience. Unfortunately, we're a country that has, you know, high fat, high we're salt. All guilty. We are all guilty of that at times. So, you know, not all food is created equally. So what we did is we started to partner with all the local farms, the Fisherman's Alliance. You know, we are really a kitchen by the community for the community so you you pitches you purchased the uh what the riverway lobster house right we're working to purchase okay you're working the riverway to get lobster everybody house. everybody knows that location <laughs> yes that it's an iconic here. iconic yeah. location how much would that help what would that mean if you were to get that deal closed oh my goodness we are looking for angel investors that have a lot of vision because to be able to create the nutritional hub for all of cape Cod is doing what we're doing to be able to we have the ability because of the natural resources on Cape Cod to solve nutritional security we can solve hunger on Cape Cod oh. and that is what we're after and you know there's a lot of agencies doing amazing work and we're looking to make sure that we fix this we can actually write this ship and purchasing the Riverway property um, by doing all of the things we can do with that almost two acre property including workforce housing um, you know shared kitchen on Cape Cod for food entrepreneurs Entrepreneurs. There's so many things we can do through access to prepared meals and education. Well, you've already had a remarkable impact. And we, we are honored with our partners at DCU to recognize you as our hometown heroes. Liz, you want to come in? Liz from DCU is going to present you with the plaque, uh, recognizing you as our hometown hero. So why don't you go ahead and, and present that to us? And we thank you for the work you do making a difference in your community. And you guys certainly are doing that. I know you had a couple of uh, assistants here who helped you out. Yes, two of my amazing, I have the best army of volunteers ever. <laughs> this is Jim Miller, Cindy Barman. They help us. We have over 150 volunteers. Our secret ingredient is always love. And that's what we're here for. Well, keep up the great work and congratulations on the impact you've already had here in the community and future success. I know you're impacting a lot of lives. Jenny Wheeler with the Family Table Collaborative here in your office. Again, congratulations, Liz. Thank you very much for your help as well. We have to take a break. We'll continue here as we shift trip to Yarmouth on the Boston 25 Morning News.